All right. Let's go and take a look at this one. Right? All right. So again, guys, to recognize um, this point here, we basically know 3 is going to represent the distance away from the center. So that's going to be 3 rings here, right? Um, and so we're going to be on the third point, And then we just need to graph 7 pi over 6. Well, we know from standard form, as long as we're paying attention up here, that half around circle is 6 pi over 6. So we just need to go an extra pi over 6, which would be 7 pi over 6. Right? That is the angle in standard form. And there's your curtain point. Now let's go ahead and convert this to, um, uh, to rectangular form. Remember, guys, this is r, and that's theta. So our basic definition here, x coordinate is 3 times the cosine of 7 pi over 6. And y equals r times sine of theta, which is 3 times the sine of 7 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6, if we think about what is this coordinate point, got to remember that unit circle. This is going to be a negative, negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. All right? So therefore, x is equal to, that's going to be a negative square root of 3 over 2. So that's going to be a negative 3 square root of 3 over 2. And sine is going to be a negative 1 half. So that would be a y equals a negative 3 times 1 half. I don't know why I didn't write it. Why don't I show my work one more time? So the point in terms of x and y components is negative 3 square root of 3 over 2, comma negative 3 x. Yes? I mean, why do you want to do 210? I mean, the angle is here. Here's the angle I'm giving you. So you, may, you want to find like the decimal version of that? Well, yeah, just so 